China has truly redefined the boundaries of architectural marvels, igniting our imagination with colossal mega-projects that seem straight out of fairy tales. As we embark on this awe-inspiring journey through China's breathtaking creations, you'll be left utterly astounded by the sheer scale of innovation and ambition. Buckle up, because we're about to unveil a world where highways transform into runways, and dams make even Noah's Ark appear minuscule in comparison. These monumental projects have not just accommodated China's ever-growing population, but have also reshaped the very landscape of the nation. But hold on. Before we unveil these jaw-dropping spectacles, we have an exciting invitation for you. Join the community of visionaries, explorers, and dreamers by subscribing to Top Visionary. By doing so, you'll ensure you never miss out on the most extraordinary tales of human achievement, innovation, and inspiration. Are you ready to be mesmerized by China's magnificent mega-projects? Subscribe now, and let's embark on this incredible adventure together. Prepare to be captivated by the Beipanjiang Bridge, a true high flyer among bridges that leaves even the iconic Golden Gate in San Francisco in awe, saying, Hold my cable! This engineering marvel stands at a staggering height of 565 meters, making even skyscrapers seem humbled in comparison. To put it into perspective, you could comfortably slide the entire Empire State Building beneath it and still have room for a jumbo jet to take off. The Beipanjiang Bridge isn't just an architectural wonder, it's a game-changer for the mountainous provinces of Xuanwei and Xuicheng, turning a once four-hour journey into a blink-and-you'll-miss-it experience. But that's not all. The views from this astonishing bridge are a sight to behold. At times, you'll find yourself so high up that you're practically driving through the clouds and mist, making your daily commute feel like a journey to the heavens. And here's an interesting twist. Gaijo Province, home to this engineering masterpiece, seems to have a penchant for towering bridges. In fact, three out of the world's top five highest bridges can be found right here. It's as if they're in a friendly competition to see who can reach the highest peak. Building such colossal bridges comes with its share of challenges. Architects had to continually raise the bridge higher to navigate around caves and cracks in those tricky karst mountains. It's like a real-life game of limbo, only instead of bending backward, the bridge goes up, up, and up. Now, let's clarify something important. Highest doesn't mean the same as tallest. While the Beipanjiang Bridge reigns as the tallest, the title of the tallest bridge goes to the Malau Viaduct in France. It's all about that deck height versus the overall structure, a fascinating distinction in the world of engineering. But China doesn't stop at just bridges. They're diving deep into the earth with massive underwater tunnels, taking construction to incredible depths and heights that leave us all in absolute awe. Get ready to explore a world where heights reach dizzying levels and tunnels take you on an aquatic adventure. China knows how to redefine construction limits, taking us on a journey that leaves us utterly amazed. Prepare to be astounded by the Taihu Tunnel, an engineering masterpiece that's nothing short of a marvel. In just four years, and with an investment of tens of billions of dollars, Chinese engineers accomplished the impossible. They penetrated Taihu Lake, creating the longest and widest underwater tunnel in China. This remarkable tunnel allows you to traverse Taihu Lake in a mere eight minutes. Unlike conventional bridges that might mar the scenic beauty, China opted for the Underground Express route. Stretching almost 11 kilometers, this tunnel feels like a well-kept secret highway and stands as one of the longest tunnels in the world. Say goodbye to traffic congestion. China's got a tunnel solution. While the Beipanjiang Bridge concerns itself with weather conditions, this underwater tunnel remains as calm as a cucumber, with one potential pitfall, drivers zoning out on such a straight road. To keep them entertained, thousands of LED lights line the way, turning the journey into a dazzling light show like a disco party for drivers, minus the dance floor. Now, building underground tunnels can be quite the challenge. The channel tunnel between France and England chose the dig-below-the-waterbed approach. However, for the Taihu Tunnel, they decided to pump out the water using cofferdams, creating a dry construction site. To maintain secrecy, ventilation shafts were cleverly disguised across the lake. One looks like a hidden island, another resembles a conch-shaped statue, and there's even one pretending to be an ancient boat. 
It's like playing an intense game of hide-and-seek with engineering secrets. While the Taihu Tunnel is impressive, it's not the longest road tunnel in the world. That title belongs to the Lairdal Tunnel in Norway. But hold on to your hard hats, because China has its sights set on shattering records. They're planning an astonishing 105.25-kilometer railway tunnel between Yantai and Dalian that will make other tunnels look like mere molehills. This is all part of China's quiet revolution in high-speed rail. They're like the superheroes of transportation. So fasten your seatbelts and get ready for an underwater adventure. Join China on their journey of engineering awesomeness. From dazzling lights to hidden ventilation, they're turning tunnels into captivating works of art that will leave you in absolute awe. Prepare to be utterly dazzled by China's massive high-speed rail network, where they're not just breaking records, but shattering them with the force of a bullet train through a speed limit sign. In a mind-boggling 45 minutes, their bullet train rockets a breathtaking 200 kilometers between Hangzhou and Shanghai, making it feel like teleportation, but with the bonus of extra leg room and a snack cart. And hold on to your train tickets because they've miraculously transformed a grueling 24-hour journey from Beijing to Guangzhou into a breezy 8-hour ride. It's practically like time travel, where you arrive at your destination before you even finish watching a movie. China's high-speed rail revolution is no laughing matter. Since 2009, they've laid down a staggering 38,000 kilometers of track enough to circle the globe almost entirely. They're like a giant cat playing with a ball of yarn, but instead of yarn, it's steel tracks. And instead of a cat, it's an entire country. They're rail maniacs on an ambitious mission. But China doesn't stop there. They're constructing rail lines for cities that haven't even been built yet, as if they're playing a game of build it and they will come, just like the clever European colonizers who had railway lines ready for towns that were mere figments of their imagination. China is always one step, or should we say one rail, ahead. And here's the twist. China isn't just about speed and efficiency. They're into futuristic adventures. Imagine a bullet train cruising along carrying passengers, all without a driver. Yes, their fucksing bullet train made history as the world's first ever driverless wonder on tracks. It's all about pushing the boundaries of innovation. While Japan may hold the title for the fastest bullet train, when it comes to size and scale, China reigns supreme. They're playing in a league of their own, constructing high-speed rail tracks in extreme climates like the scorching Gobi Desert and the icy wonderland of Harbin. They're like superheroes of the rail, fearlessly conquering terrains that others wouldn't dare to touch. Jandro East Railway Station China's turbocharged its train system with massive investments in high-speed rails, and one hub that's stealing the spotlight is the Jandro Eastern Railway Station. Nestled in the vibrant city of John Henan Province, it's become a major player in recent years. Imagine this, a colossal Asian transport haven covering a whopping 3.2 million square feet, 300,000 square meters. It's like a bustling city within a city. This hub is a key stop on the Beijing to go on show and you how to launch high-speed rail lines. That's quite a mouthful, but it's a big deal. Back in 2012, it opened its doors for the first time, and boy, did it make a splash. 14 platforms, 26 tracks. It's a dance of trains. But that's not even the best part. This place is like a glimpse into the future. Imagine sleek glass and steel soaring above you, futuristic lighting that's smarter than ever, and ticket machines that just make sense. The whole station cost a mind-blowing $28 billion, but it's worth every penny. But wait, there's more. It's not just about looking fancy. This hub is designed for you. Imagine a space where arriving and departing passengers flow seamlessly, with a central hall that's a hub of activity. It's not just a train station, it's a living, breathing example of 21st century transportation. From the moment you step in, you're in for a journey that's all about speed, convenience, and a touch of the future. So whether you're a traveler, a tech enthusiast, or just someone who loves amazing places, the Jandro Eastern Railway Station is where it's at. It's not just a station, it's a gateway to a whole new way of getting around. Get ready to embark on a cosmic journey with China as they venture into the realms of space. Move aside USA and Russia 
because China is making a significant mark in the space race, adding another feather to their cap of achievements. They're not just revolutionizing rail and conquering Earth, they're also reaching for the stars, becoming a cosmic triple threat. Now let's delve into the fascinating world of radio telescopes, where China went big, really big. Picture this. Nan Rendong, an ingenious astronomer, gazed at the modest 25-meter telescopes in China and thought, nah, let's go 20 times bigger. It's like upgrading from a magnifying glass to a telescope capable of spotting UFOs in another galaxy. For a colossal 10 years, Rendong and his dedicated team scoured the land for the perfect spot to plant their megatelescope. And where did they eventually land? The Dawadang Depression in Ping Tang, a bowl-shaped valley specially chosen to bear the telescope's weight and facilitate groundwater drainage. It's like they stumbled upon the holy grail of telescope locations nestled in the remotest of backyards. In 2016, after two decades of meticulous planning and construction, the behemoth was finally complete. Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves for the world's most enormous telescope, a whopping 500-meter diameter behemoth. It's like a colossal aluminum pancake suspended in space, poised to devour radio waves like a cosmic sensation. China's growth over the past 30 years has been off the charts. But with growth comes a massive demand for electricity, and here's the twist. China mostly uses fossil fuels for power. That's where alternatives come in, and they've got a pretty price tag, starting at $3.3 billion. Get this. Back in 1990, China fired up its first homegrown nuclear power plant in Junk Province. And guess what? It's not just one plant. They've expanded it to have lots of parts using different kinds of reactors. Think pressurized water reactors, heavy water reactors, and super-advanced pressurized water reactors. Why all the different types? Because China's all about adaptability. They can't just copy-paste. They've got to make it their own. But here's the catch. Replicating what they've got now would cost way more than the initial price tag. Today, this power plant is like a small city, stretching over four square miles, 10.2 square kilometers. And its job? Pumping out a massive 400 megawatts of electricity. That's a big deal. The plan doesn't stop here. China's on a mission to keep upgrading this power plant and learn from building new ones around the country. Why? To make sure they've got enough energy for the next 50 years or so. This isn't just about having more power. It's about making a greener choice. China's aiming to cut down on those carbon-emitting options and use clean energy to battle climate change. So whether you're a tech enthusiast or just someone who cares about the planet, China's nuclear power journey is one to watch. It's not just about electricity. It's about building a future that's bright and clean. Thank you a million for joining us on this awe-inspiring journey through China's mega-projects. If you're hungry for more epic tales of engineering greatness, simply drop a comment below and tell us which mega-project you'd like us to tackle next. We're like hungry monsters for your suggestions.